up everyone, Lucas here. I made an Instagram post a few days ago asking for everyone's questions uh, for a question and answer video. I picked 10 questions. I'm gonna read them off word for word and give my best answers, so here we go. Your take on creatine. So creatine is a great supplement for both men and women if you're looking to add size and strength. It was one of the first supplements I took when I was younger. What it does is it draws mu uh, water to the muscles, which is going to increase your muscle fullness, your pumps in the gym, and help increase strength. So my take on it is it's a great supplement to add to your arsenal if your budget allows. The new one up protein bars. Can they replace a protein shake as part of your diet or after workout protein? I always recommend trying to get whole food in first, but if you don't have time to sit down and eat a meal, absolutely the one up bars uh, can serve as a meal replacement. Do you have to do cardio to lose weight or can you just strength train? Uh, great question. So most people are going to have to do a little bit of cardio if they want to get in great shape. Uh, it kind of depends also on how much weight you have to lose. If you have a lot of weight to lose, you should be able to drop a considerable amount of pounds through diet alone. Uh, but most people are going to have to do cardio uh, to get in ideal shape. Thoughts on keto diet. Uh, keto diet is super popular now, so for those who don't know, the keto diet is a higher protein, high fat, very low carb diet. My thoughts on it are, it's a good diet, but it's not for everybody. I typically like to have people who need to drop a lot of weight, they can do keto because it helps you drop weight quickly. But if your goal is performance or strength based, I do believe you need some carbohydrates uh, to support those goals. Uh, so again, it's a good diet, but it's not for everybody. What do you use for a workout playlist? Uh, so I'm a big fan of electronic uh, dance music, EDM music, uh, but honestly, I mostly listen to podcasts, business, fitness, and sometimes comedy podcasts, especially during cardio. I have a high metabolism. I have lean body. If I want to gain muscle, what kind of diet should I follow? So if you have a high metabolism, you need to eat more calories. Uh, now a quick way, a quick easy way to do that is add more fat to your diet. Fats are the most calorically dense macronutrients, so you got protein, carbs, and fat. Fats are 9 calories per 1 gram, or protein and carbs are 4 calories per 1 gram. So what that means is you don't have to eat as much fat to get more calories. So a quick way to add more calories to your diet is to add more fat, such as peanut butter, olive oil, nuts, you know, things like that. But the answer to your question is if you have a high metabolism and want to gain muscle, you got to eat more food and obviously train hard. Mass gaining exercises for whole body. Well, your typical answer is going to be squats, bench, and deadlift. I know for me personally, I was always a big fan of flat barbell bench press to gain upper body size. I never really did a bunch of deadlifts. I was a big fan of three-quarter deadlifts or rack deadlifts, which is just like a partial deadlift you do in a power rack. Uh, and free weight squats, you got to do free weight squats, especially if you're just starting out. And then once you develop more muscle and develop that mind-muscle connection, you can move on to things like hack squat and leg press. But I am a big believer in, in, in the free weight body squat or free weight squats uh, to add size to your legs. So your mass gain exercise for whole body, squat, bench, deadlift, free weight exercises when you're first starting out. Do we really need supplements to lose weight and body fat? No, absolutely not. You can lose weight and body fat through diet. Uh, alone, you just got to be on a strict diet that's tailored for your body type and goals. Supplements are just icing on the cake. I've just torn my shoulder ligament cartilage. What's the best exercise to get back into it without doing more damage? Well, the first thing you got to do is go to your doctor and uh, make sure you get the proper recovery and repair it. And then once you get back into it, you got to warm up, warm up the shoulder joints. Shoulders are especially vulnerable. So you don't want to start off with like heavy presses. You want to, a good warm up is just do front side and rear raises really, really lightweight, like three to four sets, very high reps just to get blood in there. Uh, but the first thing you got to do is make sure you're not going to do any more damage to it. So get it looked at, get it checked out. And the last question I'm going to do today is, is your diet carb cycling or keto diet? So I don't use a specific diet style for everybody. You know, there isn't one style of dieting that works for everybody. I design your meal plan based off your food preferences, food allergies, fitness goal, body type, body fat you're at when you're starting with me. So everyone's meal plan is gonna be different. I utilize all styles of dieting, several different diets. Uh, so that's all the questions I'm gonna do today. Thank you for watching. Comment below if you want me to do more videos like this. And uh, hope everyone enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.